What's up, guys? Who needs me out of here about to fuck you in the ass? Uh, <laughs> we uh, we picked up an entire gimmick puppet de deck um, that I Andrew played at a locals, and we're going to show you after, like, he finished up with five rounds, uh, made changes, made it better. This deck has been legal for a day, so we're going to kind of show off what we think is going to be good. Uh, he played this in, on the uh, OCG before we found out that the cards were not coming to us and for a long time. Now they finally are here, so... Uh, so we know the deck a little bit. We've uploaded a video a couple formats ago of playing the deck, so let's get right to it. Uh, three Necrodolph. It's basically the core of the deck. Uh, special will summon it by banishing another gimmick puppet from your graveyard. Uh, it makes almost every Exceed play valid. Three Magnodolls. It's Cyber Dragon if you only control gimmicks or no gimmicks. So oh, This has one good. minimum. Yeah, it's one minimum. Uh, no, it doesn't. Does? No. Uh, minimum one, yeah. So you have to have one gimmick puppet? Yeah. And you special summon it? Yeah. And you just do broken shit? Mm hmm. Okay. So basically, you'd summon this first. And then yeah, and then make an eight. Call. And it's just spam eights. Yeah. I know you shouldn't play Heliopolis, though, but I mean, I can understand that, I guess. I don't. Uh, two of these scissor arms. It's foolish burial for gimmick puppets. They're alright. I had three when I was playing earlier, and it seemed to clog a lot. So I'm only playing two now. Because Foolish Burial? Yeah, I have Foolish Burial, okay. too. Three Gear Spring Spirits. All right, so what does this card do exactly? Uh, if you only have machine-type monsters in your graveyard, you can special summon it from your hand. And once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls and make its attack zero. Okay. Until the end phase. So it's basically uh, bring back Necro, or you know if you have anything else, special summon this, make their attack zero, and go into one of your level eights. Okay. Or rank eights, rather. This is my tech. One Jinzo. Told you. Shut up. Told you. <laughs> I mean, you're always going to have tribute fodder, so running a machine type tribute's pretty good, especially when it's Jinzo. Shut and up. And you don't man. play a lot of traps. No. Uh, one Birdman for synchroing. I mean, yeah. You can pretty much, you know, special something, bounce it back to your hand, and then. Ditch it with Fortress. Or, yeah, yeah. And speaking of that, three Fortress. I run the Machina. Uh, engine because it's more consistent. You'll always be able to get rid of dead eights in your hand with fortress and cannons. So. Yeah, so you can like foolish burial for this or something like that, and just get rid of all the the useless garbage. Uh, yeah, stuff in your hand, the useless eights, and then mm. you have other stuff for eights like trade in. It also opens up to rank sevens, mm -hmm. like Draco second big guy. Uh, three gear frame and two cannon. Two cannon's not bad because of triple trade in. Exactly. Triple and, trade in. And, and you can get rid of stuff and special summon the cannon. Mm -hmm. Cannon likes those, you know, dead stuff for food. Well, it's special summoning another level eight for uh exceeding mm -hmm. as well. So Yeah. Uh two of the junk puppets. Uh three gets cloggy. Is really it because fast. you banish too much to special summon them? Yeah. yeah, like you banish them out of your graveyard and then Well, also you can like... only use once per turn. Okay. So you end up having two, three of these in your hand. You're only gonna use one. Okay. This surprised me at how good it was. I wasn't gonna play it at first, but the rank up magic chaos or argent chaos force is really good in this deck. I know it re adds itself. Well, yeah, it re adds itself. What you do is you rank up a rank eight exceed into one of the rank nine chaos exceeds for gimmick puppets, and then the next time you exceed, you can add it from your graveyard to your hand. And play it again. You can only use that effect once per uh, once per duel. But overall, it's a really good rank up magic. I've never thought I'd say that about a rank up magic. Uh, two musty, the new pretty gold ones. And no dark hole. Mm, Where's the? Should be. Yeah, it's, okay. it's here. It's later in the list. I don't know why it got separated. Uh, three trade ins. Because sometimes having gimmick puppets in your hand should be gimmick puppets in your graveyard. Speed through the deck. Uh, two reasoning, because first game, first turn reasoning is always really hilarious to see your opponent. Uh, but no, it, you play four different levels in this deck, and worst case scenario, if they, they call, call it right, eight, you get a gimmick puppet or you know something in your graveyard that's going to end yeah. up helping you later. Yeah. So reasoning is really good in this deck. And you don't play too many spells or traps. Mm -mm. You play pretty relatively heavy monster lineup. Then foolish burial, dark hole, yeah. and limiter removal to go for game. <laughs> yeah. And since our trap lineup is not very big, Jinzo really works out. So, how many traps is it? Six? Uh, six. Uh, two Phoenix Chains because effects. Five, it's five uh, or six, something like that. Uh, I think it's, um, it's five. Five, cut down to five. I cut it down to five. 
torrential tribute, uh, warning, and bottomless. Just the you know generic it's, trap lines yeah. up. It's nothing That's really special. All right, then then we'll, we'll go to the, the extra. Deck. Forty cards. Forty cards. Okay. Extra deck. All right. Someone didn't play Felgrand today and wishes shut he up, did, so I gave him a Felgrand. Play Felgrand. Yeah, it's a gross looking Felgrand. Oh, shut up. It's a ghost. Uh, Black Rose Dragon and Star Eater as your synchros. Uh, you'll always be able to make Star Eater. Every time you have Birdman. Uh, My Stroke and number 101 as your rank fours because, you know. You only play fours. five level fours, though. Yeah. And three gear frame and then two. Of the They're gear, there if uh, you need them. Neither of them yeah. can be destroyed if you don't use their materials. So. Uh, Big Eye and Drago Sack is your sevens. Just, yeah. Why not? They're the two best sevens. Should have should run Lucky Straight. No, I shouldn't. Uh, it'll happen every time. This gross looking Felgrand. Oh, shut up. It should be Ulti or Secret, but shut he handed up. me a ghost on them. You. It's the only thing anybody had today. Shut up. Two Gimmick Puppet of Strings. This has a really nutty combo with the. Rank up magic, Argent Chaos Force. What you do is when you exceed this, you activate its effect, putting a string counter on everything on the field. Rank it up into Devil Strings. Devil Strings' effect is when it's summon, destroy all monsters with string counters, and draw a card. So you blow up everything on the field except itself, and end up drawing a card, and it's a 3300 swinger. Do uh, you play two of those? I play two strings. I play two Devil and two uh, strings. Okay. And two giant grinders. This thing can get around Zen mains and my stroke and everything really easily because with the same combo as the strings, you're going to be using that rank up magic and first pop two and ranking it up into giant hunter. Giant hunter's effect is you can destroy one card on the field and if it was uh, a monster, inflict damage equal to its original attack. Something I forgot to mention with strings is after you blow the field, inflict damage to the to your opponent equal to the highest monster's attack when you do it. So you just you just basically can burn for a lot. A lot. With stupid shenanigans. And when you, if you've summoned one of these and the rank up magic's in your graveyard, say I went into grinder next turn, I'll add that rank up magic back and be able to go into either strings or hunter again. So it's a really good consistent deck overall, I think. I think it's going to need a lot more tuning, but this is a good place to start. Is that the full extra? That's the full extra. All right, thanks for watching, guys.